Hello everyone, this is Zayda Qolami from AgriMath Software Research Lab and in today's video I'm going to talk about multiple regression in Excel. So I'm going to explain like uh, from basic and if these explanations are uh, are not in your scale, you know, you're uh, in upper level than my explanations, you can always feel free to escape and go forward. So I'll start from this data tab and data analysis. If you cannot see this option in here, go to file options and in add-ins click on manage excel add-ins click on go and check analysis topic whenever you click ok you can see data analysis in here so after you've uh, enabled the data analysis option in analyze tab of your excel worksheet uh, if you click on that you can see there are lots of analysis tools so i want to go for a regression in here and uh, we will use that but before we get into that i want to give some explanations about my data which i'm working with them so maybe it's better to cut these and get them in here so maybe it's better to remove these ones from here and, um, okay, so in here I have weight as dependent variable on exercise hours and height. So exercise hours and height are two independent variables which are explaining weight in some ways. So weight is dependent on these two and is dependent variable. These two are independent ones. So regression means that... Um, actually an explanation or an equation that using that you can explain some specific variable using two one two or more um independent variables okay and then you can connect these independent and dependent uh, variables into each other you can say you have made a regression in some ways okay so Let's get into data analysis and I'll go for regression. I click OK and this window opens up. You can input a Y range. So I select my weight. I have, tier, uh, I have 30 data points as you can see. And then you can input your X range. So it means that you can either select one as independent or two or more. So in here, your input, your input X range should be in this form. So you will select as much as variables that you have in a continuous range and you just select the whole range. Okay. So that's it. I check the labels so that it recognizes the first row as label. And then the confidence level in here is 95%, which defines the level of significance as 5%, which is okay for me. If you, if it's not okay for you, you can check that and change that, for example, to 90, which translates to level of in, uh, level of significance in the, um, 10 percent so it's 95 is okay for me is all right for me so i uncheck it and then it asks you where do you want your output uh, to be placed so i can choose an output range um for example from here I can uh, go for new worksheet ply. It means that you select that and you give a name. For example, multiple um, regression. Okay, and whenever I click OK, it makes another sheet in here named multi regression and it prints the output in there. So I do not want that. I want the output range. It's okay for me. And I do not want to print residuals. 
I do not want to print residual plots and I do not want them. And also, I do not want normal pl pr probability plots. It's okay for me. I want the regression. And after all these settings, I click on OK. Now you can see the output uh, tables are printed out for me and I can interpret them. Okay. I should mention something important in here and that's um, that all these data are actually um, handmade, you know, these are not real data. I've just made all of them using rand between function in Excel. So these are not reliable um, data at all. These are just made uh, by myself. So I, I mentioned that to say that this multiple R is too much low because of that. So um, in real world, the weight is so much dependent on exercise hours and height. But in here, because I've just made those data by myself and because they do not actually um, relate to each other and it's just for um, making this video purpose, uh, it does not show the dependency in the multiple R or R square. You can see I have a really low R square and that's because of that. But in general format, you can uh, understand the this um, actually this dependency between your data sets using multiple R, which uh, as long as it's near to one, it means that your data are more dependent to each other and your dependent variable is more explainable using the independent ones. And whenever the R square is also um near to one it means that um um and another form you know it's um explainable using independent variables then you have the anova table which i do not um have anything to do with it right now and we will jump into this uh, last table in here you have intercept you have exercise hours as one of the independent variables and you have height as the second independent variable and here you have coefficients standard error t statistic p value and lower and upper 90 percent um you know band okay so and here you can see the intercept as 105.31 so i'll go for draw and use that in order to make this regression relationship in here for you so you have y as 105.31 um then you have exercise hours which its coefficient is of uh, actually is positive it's it's wrong you know i i just mentioned that uh exercise hours does not have of course it, do, it does not have positive impact on weight okay it has ne negative impact it lowers the weight okay but in here it's just an example so whenever this coefficient is positive you put a positive mark in here and then go for 0 0.39 and this is the coefficient for exercise so you have x1 in here as x1 is exercise hours and then the coefficient for height is minus um 0 0.18 so you go for minus um uh, sign minus 0 0.18 x2 so x1 is exercise hours, x2 is height, and y is weight. So now you can see I have a multiple, uh, I have a multivariable regression relationship in using Excel worksheet. And that's all. You can see uh, I, I, I should again mention that these data are all made by myself. They do not mean anything. And I just wanted to show you 
this concept of making multivariable regression in Excel and this is not a meaningful relationship and regression um, you know um, regression function so that's it for today's video i hope you learned something new please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i've seen the next videos and bye